To the question around um, COVID vaccinations and the response to vaccinations, we've known for a very long time that patients who have blood cancers do have different responses to vaccination compared to patients or individuals who don't. And this is not only to influenza vaccine, but a whole host of vaccines. And um, so therefore, it should come as no surprise that the response to COVID vaccines is different to individuals who don't have blood cancers. Also within blood cancers, blood cancers are very different. Um, so blood cancer isn't one thing. There are many, many different types of blood cancers, and particularly those blood cancers where you cannot make an antibody response, so particularly lymphoid leukemias or treatments that involve the um, targeting of lymphoid cells, lymphocytes, B cells in particular. So rituximab is a very common treatment. Uh, rituximab reduces your B cell um, population. So individuals who've had diseases of lymphocytes or have had treatments that um, target lymphocytes, both T and B, B cells more commonly, are likely to have um, lower response, antibody responses and T cell responses. They have T cell targeting treatments than um, patients who don't have uh, these disorders or have these types of treatments. I should also mention more generally that the more aggressive the chemotherapy, the more likely it is that um, lymphocytes are going to be um, lower in number and have poorer function. So it really is important now that we consolidate the work that's already been done, um, the emerging data, and we collect more data, longer term data, and that we monitor patients carefully in terms of their response to vaccination and their response to illness.